Trump and the NFL. We've seen what happened. Now the NBA commissioner, Adam Silver, has already said that players need to stand through the national anthem. Do you agree? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. Look, the NBA and NFL are completely different. If, if, you know, pick any football team, you might recognize three players. The other 50 have no platform, no social media followings for the most part. And their only chance to make a statement about what's important to them is when the cameras are rolling and in unity. Basketball, LeBron James calls him a bum and he has a bigger platform. Right, so it, it's completely different. And um, what I said to our team was, if you have a message that you want to convey to our fans and the media, let's just say it. We'll put you on videotape and we'll say what's on your mind. If, you know, these types of protests that the NFL tried, does you, you don't you lose control of the narrative and so it's not the right way so to do it. So you don't think they should have protested in that way? No, I'm not saying that at all. Right? I'm all for civil disobedience, right? I think for the NFL it worked, right? Because it was their only opportunity to do that. They didn't have a platform otherwise. The NBA is completely different. We have a much stronger platform. We have a far better ways to communicate a message. Is this a battle that President Trump should be picking? No. But you know what? It's not it's not about sports and politics because sports is part of politics. You know, you know, sports people, um, athletes, owners, whatever, endorse candidates, give money, etc. But come on. But that's who he is. Look, I, I, to me, there's three Donald Trumps. There's the Donald Trump who's trying to be the president. There's the Donald Trump, the salesperson, and there's the Donald Trump, the Twitter troll. Right? When he trolls on Twitter, he's fair game. Anybody can take a shot at him. When he's in campaign mode, you just ignore him. He's just selling. And when he's trying to do his job as president. Hopefully you help the people who are around them to help them. I've, I've worked with probably four now, three letter agencies and, and done things for them that the president has no idea because you know that's what patriotic Americans do and you just let him pretend to be president or do his thing and, and you know hopefully the best happens. You've made your political views very clear. What are your biggest concerns about this administration? Um, I don't know that he just doesn't know what's going on. Right, it's just not in him to make an effort to understand or learn, and you know, possibly it's because he's not capable. Possibly it's because it's not he's not willing. Um, it's I, I just don't see, I don't think he has it in him. Does he make it through four years? I'd say 25% chance, maybe 30% chance he doesn't. Um, I'd probably be willing to bet against it, not because he's going to do something just crazily wrong, even though sometimes it seems like it, but I think it's because he's oblivious to the institutions in government and oblivious to the laws and rules, and he'll do, he'll do something and won't recognize that it's an impeachable offense.